If theta is the angle between the two unit vectors a and b, then show that modulus of a vector plus b vector is equal to 2 times of cos theta by 2. Well, in this question we begin with squaring the sum of the magnitude. Now, this will result in this using the basic property. Now, using the distributive law, we all know that dot product because dot product is distributive. Therefore, a dot a cap plus a dot b plus b dot a plus b dot b. Now, why these two are taken as twice of it because dot product is is commutative. I'm sorry, dot product is commutative. Now, moving further, I take you uh, to the next page. This is equal to I'm writing it again. No. Now, what is this? This is 1 plus 1 plus again opening the definition. These two are also 1. So, 1 plus 1 is 2 plus this time 2 into 1 into cos theta. So, the next step is 2 plus 2 cos theta. 2 is common. And you know the basic formula through trigonometry, the half angle formula, what is 1 plus cos theta or this is the formula, half angle formula. Now, 1 and minus 1 is gone and we are left with 2 into 2 cos square theta by 2. So, this is now 4 times of cos square theta by 2. Now, taking the positive root, because it is a magnitude, so it will give only the positive square root. Why? Because it is under root of 4, 4 can be taken as 2 square and this is cos square theta by 2. So, this becomes 2 cos theta by 2 and this was the target that the magnitude of the sum of the two unit vectors is twice cos of theta by 2, hence proved. So, let me take you to the beginning for the quick revision of this question. This was the question that theta is the angle between uh, two unit vectors then show that mod of a plus b is 2 cos theta by 2. We begin with the basic property of a dot product that mod a square is a dot a. Then after using that property, we use the distributive law and the commutative law to reach to this. We got this mod a square plus 2 times of a dot b plus b square. Then we substituted the values because this is a unit vector. So, the square of the mod is obviously a value 1, 1 plus 1. 
Same way, we got 2 plus 2 cos theta by taking 2 common and applying the half angle of cos theta, we got 4 times of cos square theta by 2. And then it was only the case of taking the square root. We took out the square root, we got the answer. This is very important for board exams. If mod of a plus b vector is equal to mod of a minus b vector, then show that the two vectors that are a and b are perpendicular to each other and none of the vectors is a zero vector. Well, we are given the magnitudes and we have to comment on the vectors. So, squaring probably is the, is the technique. This is given to us. We do squaring. And after squaring, we apply the basic properties. on both the sides then write using the distributive law and commutative law we expand them This is a dot a plus a dot b plus b dot a plus b dot b. The other side is also a dot a now what happens? a dot a becomes mod a square, a dot b and b dot a is twice of a dot b, b dot b is mod b square. On the other side, now what is mod a square? It is same as mod a square on the other side, so the two will get cut in the next step. In exam, you will write one more step and we are left with the two cannot be cancelled, rather they can be accumulated on one side. What is if I take 4 below 0, it will be 0. So the dot product of two vectors is 0 and none is a null vector. So the possibility left is that they are perpendicular. Vectors are perpendicular. Perpendicular. Hence proved. This is very simple. Let us revise. We were given the magnitudes of the sum and the difference of two vectors and the target was to prove that they are perpendicular. We did squaring, we expand them and we got the expression mod a square plus two times of a dot b plus a mod b square and same way mod a square minus 2a dot b plus a mod of b square. The modulus, the moduli on both the sides get cut and we are left with 4 times of a dot b is equal to 0, hence a dot b is equal to 0 and finally a is perpendicular to b.
This is very simple and important question. 